animal skin as you guys can see and it's dried and this is what we call kusika and i love how it's giving some africa some african views sika rudzi room there is no king without a queen we use cow dung you guys you sleep on it like this Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're here for the first time, hi, I'm Tino Sparks, your favorite African without borders, currently in Goromonzi, just 36 kilometers away from Harare, Zimbabwe. We are here at Pamusha for a cultural experience, you guys. So in today's video, I'm going to give you a tour of what a typical cultural traditional homestead looks like. So please give this video a huge thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. We are currently on the road to 20,000 subscribers and it can only happen when you guys make it happen before we get into the details of this video please rate my outfit on a scale of 1 to 10 1 being the least and 10 being the best and i know you give it a 10 out of 10 so let's get right into the video first things first this is the chivanze and this is how it looks like usually our chivanze is well swept very early in the morning kutipanya so chena and then we have some houses here they are they are built very beautifully as you guys can see they are built out of mud and matanda which is wood and there is grass right here and it is so beautiful so the first room that you're going to get into is the kitchen let me show you the kitchen come along this is the kitchen you guys it is so beautiful and i love how it's giving some africa some african feels the first thing that you see is this you guys this is where we light our fire Dipo Patinobi Kira and then there is firewood and then on the fire you guys there are three stones which are called mapiwa these are used to balance off the the pot when you're cooking and then right here you guys we have matewe matewe are sitting mats they are made out of animal skin as you guys can see and it's dried and it's so good it's so good you can use it for over 10 years you guys and as you guys can see there is the floor the floor is polished with ndove which is cow dung and it's actually a delicacy when you when your house kanayaka zulo shakanaka you are regarded as a very smart woman so we use cow dung to polish our floors right here and then from here you guys we have a chikuva chikuva is like a kitchen cupboard <laughs> it's more than kitchen cupboard this is where you put your furniture and right here we have different types of haris Haris are clay pots, you guys, and mambia plates. So in African culture, different kinds of haris are used for different kinds of purposes. You have the shambakozi. Fuko is for mayeu, and we have hajkana for cooking muriwo, etc, etc. And then right here, you guys, there is a rusero. The rusero is used to win your grain. And then with the rusero, you use it with a basket. So this is where you win your chibage, like this or you this one you can also use it as a fruit basket or you can store it to store you can use it to store your groceries in here dengu and for those people who do the market days you use the dengu to put on your head and then you put your vegetables etc etc right here you guys we have another basket with the handle called the dengu here there is mukombe we use the mukombe to drink and then to drink our alcohol our water and then right here you guys we have mugoti nemusika which is used to cook pap or to cook sada i'll show you in another cultural video so you guys if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for and then right here tine mugwaku mugwaku is used to dish out our sada our rice rine dovi mupunga une dovi mupunga une dovi is rice in peanut butter sauce and then all the other things you guys right here you guys there is a small opening these are our what our windows look like because there is smoke that comes from the fire so usually the smoke car goes out through here and also through the ventilation of the roof you guys because i mean it's fire and then on the uh, right here you guys there is a rupasa rupasa is a sitting or a sleeping mat usually it's a sleeping mat this is our traditional bed so you sleep on it 
like this. So this is what happens in a traditional home. So right here we have embezo. Embezo is used to cut to make mugoti or mastus. So things like this, you guys are made smooth with embezo so anything that you need in the household so right here you guys we also have a jacko a jacko is used to cut out grass or weeds for example if you want grass for the roof you use a jacko to cut it out in the field and then right here you guys we also have this do you guys know what this is drop a comment and let me know this is called a demo or an X. It is used to cut down or chop firewood. Basically, that's it. So as you guys can see, our walls are smooth. So as far as I can see, they've used a different kind of clay to, to smoothen this out. And then right here, they use some white clay as well to make the design. That's how beautiful African art is. And as you guys can see with our chikua, it's also made out of cow dung and it is so beautiful basically that's it <laughs> as he was explaining to me right here is called musika so what you do with musika is we don't have matches we don't have lighters mm -hmm. we don't have gas lighters right here in an african village specifically the shona village so we use cow dung you guys this is ndove um yeah cow dung so you put it here in this in this kaburi and then you sika this is what we call kusika so after a long time it actually produces a fire you add grass you add it to your fire and then a motor starts that is basically the beauty of zimbabwe shona culture let me show you another place this is a nava nava is a traditional bag you carry you you take it everywhere you wanna go you can store anything you want to store right in here and then this is a chimbo for the men so you guys might assume that my boyfriend was right here with the chimbo i don't know you can make assumptions because i'm about to get a traditional african man because i live for the african culture <laughs> So this room, you guys, is called the Sikaruzi room. The Sikaruzi room is also known as the bedroom. Sikaruzi is shown up for reproduction. So this is where all the reproduction happens. So come, let me show you. In the Sikaruzi, we have the Muchairo. The Muchairo is a broom to sweep. This is an indication that the Sikar the Sikaruzi room must always be clean. And then right here, you guys, we have another reed mat called the Rupasa. Some call it Rupasa, some call it Rukukwe. And this is where you sleep and this is where all the, the happenings happen. The Sikaruzi happens and it's a bed. And then right here, you guys, we have... Uta ne museve. This is the Uta ne museve, you guys. I don't know if you guys can see it. This is used to attack. And then this is a Pumo. You guys, there's something that is unique about the African culture. So our hearts are made there around. And as as, you, as they get to the roof, they are in a conical shape. I think you guys can see it from the outside. So the conical shape, as I, as I understand, the round shape means we are united. We are one people. And then as it goes towards the top, you guys, like this, it's uniting everyone, every African person or everyone who is in the family to be one. That is why you find out that in the African culture, despite where you are coming from, could it be you are coming from Malawi, could it be you are coming from Mozambique, Zambia, Ghana, you are always going to find a conical house like that because it wants to unite the people because the African culture, we are family oriented you guys so if you ever come to africa just learn to love your neighbor we are one people we are brothers and sisters and right here you guys as you can see we have the guyo and the huyo this is the guyo and this is the huyo so what we do is we have grain right here if you want to smoothen it out you guys you you use the guyo in the huyo so the process of doing this is called kukuya 
and after you do it for a very long time it produces very fine particles that you can use so you do kukuya with grain you can do kukuya with peanut you can do kukuya with rice if you want to make a smoother kind of rice etc but yeah basically that's it uh moving on we also have another room right here you guys and this one this is a small roof as you guys can see it is a bit elevated from the ground it is called the hosey it's elevated from the ground because we don't want insects or whatever to creep into the hosey and yeah so basically the hosey this is where you store your grain chibage mafunde munga etc etc and this is how it looks like the horse is also called the tapi and basically it is like this in a proper homestead it could be bigger because you produce grain in large quantities this is a duri usually there is a duri and a muskui i've shown you guys in one of my videos a muskui that's when you you pound your grain as well and basically that's it uh come let me show you the bathroom so usually the bathroom is just a distance away from the homestead because you know the smells etc etc so this is where you wash in a traditional homestead it's usually just a cup a, a shelter that is made out of poles and glass usually there is a cover right here and this is where you wash another time there is a toilet right here but right here we don't have a toilet the toilet is quite a distance but yeah you guys basically that's it this is the chigaro chamambo it's a seat made out of stone in the african society the man is the king so this is our king that's kundai chitima and yeah he's wearing nembe and african beads and african crown called the ngundu uh and chimbo chimbo is a uh, represents authority chimbo a represents authority you guys and this is how it looks like there is a nava the king's kasambo <laughs> a bag which is puts his belongings and then the african sandals you guys this is beautiful 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 and as you guys already know there is no king without a queen but this is just content you guys this is just content but basically i have pictures of me and kundai on our instagrams of how uh, an african homestead looks like with a baba and an amai thank you what do you think about the homestead this is what the an african homestead look like looks like thank you so much you guys for watching today's video hope you guys enjoyed it please give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe if you haven't uh we are on the road to 20,000 subscribers this is pamusha cultural center so if you want to have this experience you guys you already know i've hooked you up with pamuhacha pamuhacha can actually take you here so this is tino sparks your favorite african without borders and i am signing out Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm just a little